check it out everybody so when you don't when you just can't get enough field of view options you want your Mavic 3 Pro to have a 24 millimeter a 70 millimeter a 166 millimeter and a 15.5 millimeter I was looking for that number before and there it is right on the lens so it's a 065x basically meaning you're zooming uh, back from you know your standard view to a 65 percent of that um kind of like a uh just a wide angle like you would do on a phone or any other uh wide angle lens but gives him an interesting kind of snorkel face doesn't it he's got like he had a lip operation he's got botox lips filler anyway i don't know what i'm talking about but anyway he looks uh interesting and more importantly it catches some more interesting perspectives so that's four now we've got on here uh we i mean we had the wide angle for the mavic 3 but it's just kind of cool having just one more uh option for perspective field of view and getting different types of shots with the same drone so Right, so I'm recording again. I want to show you this because it's pretty funny. So I get over like this. See, it's got the car framed. Now it's got, well, did it before. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it's got me framed. It thinks I'm the car. And it gets, it makes like a smaller frame around me. Thinking I'm the, see that? Look, it thinks I'm the car. The car got smaller. So it's having a little bit of trouble with this. It's AI is a little confused there. It's artificial, unintelligent. All right, anyway. Let's try a ground level DOI. Keep a close eye on it here as we go around. Oh, look at that. He climbed. He's like, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. That stuff here. Wow, he did a big climb though. He went right up to 23.9 feet. So if I turned up obstacle avoidance, he would do that. But with it on, he does not want to do it. He's like, no, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm not doing it down low. It's kind of interesting. So let's try this. Let's stop recording, or stop rotating, rather. Bring him down low. Bring him in close. Uh, yeah, he's going to try and go over the car. So what I'm going to do here is get up in the corner here, and I'm still going to off. What the heck? That is pretty strange. Why would he be climbing like that to do a POI? Maybe he needs just needs to have height. We're going to figure this out, so let's try it again. And there he goes again. Yep, he won't do a POI down low. What the heck? Mavic 3 does it. So that's a little odd. I wonder if it has any relationship to the to the wide-angle lens being attached. Let's find out. Let's bring him down. Let's bring him right down and land him. I'm going to keep the recording going here. And I'm going to pull out the lens. Okay. Line angle lens is not attached now. And let's get a look at this view. Alright, let's try that. There it goes again. So it's nothing to do with the wide angle lens. It won't do down low. What happens if I try to bring them down? Minimum flight altitude achieved. So when doing a POI, you can't fly this one low? Huh. PJI, what are you doing to us here? I love, love doing low. So I can't do it like a pivot around myself. I did it the other day with the 70 millimeter. So that's a little odd. That is a little odd. Alright. Well. Alright, so I'm recording again. Uh... 25.9 feet, exactly the same height as before without the wide-angle lens on there. So that's the regular 24 millimeter Hasselblad doing a rotation. I think at about the same distance approximately from the car. But certainly within a couple of feet of where it was, or within a meter, as people say. And there you go. All right, so that's doing a rotation. It looks different. Certainly the ground, the lines are square. They're not curved at the edges. But um, I don't know that it necessarily is getting a lot less of the vehicle in. But what's interesting is now it has gone 
to a point, and it didn't have it as a car. So now I can come down. This must be what I did back in the day. So let's bring them down. Let's start recording. There you go. And now I should be able to do a low and slow rotation here, which is good. That's what I want to do. There we go. Look how nice. That is nice. That's exactly what I wanted. So, let me get my tripod out of here. Get it outside the shot here. And now, you can do that. What I wanted. Very slow, but that's all right. It's going really slow. I don't know why it moves, it moves so slow now. But that's your low and slow. So as long as it doesn't know it's a car. So I think what you can do is trick it. Do it from above or at an angle where it doesn't know that it's a car. And once you've done that and you get the GPS point on it instead of a car, you know, an image, uh, and it's just tracking a GPS point, you're golden. You can go a little faster here. And a little faster. Go ahead there, buddy. That looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah, that looks very good. So, now, how low can I get? That's it. That's about it. Yep, I'm going to go even lower. But okay, so we solved that. Figured out how to do that. going on but it does look interesting when it's closer to objects you get um, you know just get that expanded view and you also get a little bit of curvature a little bit of a little bit of I guess fisheye I don't know if you want to call it fisheye at that level but it adds curvature to the to the lens anyway I'm at 304 feet here so I don't know that this is going to have enough altitude to complete this so I, this, the, this is where they got kind of tune this a little bit. I don't think many people will be using master shots with the Pro, but if they want to, there's it's not tuned. It's got all kinds of issues, master shots. It does some goofy things. The close circle ends up not being a circle at all, but like a an arc, and it flies towards the object instead of... Anyway, weird stuff like that. Um, I wanted to get it out far enough to do the roll motion, uh, which I thought would look kind of interesting with the wide angle on. And it does. It looks it looks good. Um, but there's some weird stuff going on, like it'll let it hit the altitude, you know, like your altitude maximum, and then stop recording the master shot, which is really goofy. It's probably going to do it here when it's just the rocket, because I'm up too high. Um, typically, the old one would tell you you can't, you can't do it because your altitude is too high to start and you're going to hit maximum altitude. See, he's going up now. He's not just circling. He's circling and climbing there. He's at 388 feet. And he hasn't even done... Well, maybe he doesn't do the rocket on this one. I think he does, though. He does the zoom in and out. Maybe this one doesn't get the rocket. But that climb, that's different. I mean, it may be intentional. They might have tuned it to you know, tweak it a little bit and make it more interesting. And it looks good. I don't have any complaint with it, but it's not the same as Mini 3 Pro Air 2S. Um, what else has it? I think that's about it. You know, Mavic 3, obviously. But, you know, it's going to do a rocket. So, it's, we'll see. I mean, it started at 290 or so, so it might just make it. It's going to be damn close, though. Yeah, I was really close. 367, so it made it. But I had it hit the other day. It hit the maximum and stopped recording. So, there's issues. Needs needs a little bit of tweaking here and there. There's a lot going on with this drone, at least with all the cameras and things. And we're all waiting for them to add multi-camera angles into these things like this. Um, be interesting to see multi-cameras in a few things, such as waypoints, where we can zoom and switch cameras during waypoints. We can't do that yet. I thought I was doing it the other day, 
I had it on the three times camera, but it got stuck on the three times, and then it wasn't. I wasn't able to change cameras during the waypoint mission. So anyway, full discovery, and it's a matter of them kind of tweaking it and seeing. But I'd like to see them solve that D log issue. If they can add the D log M to the to the one sixty six millimeter, the seven X. Everybody will be well. A lot of people can stop bitching. Let me put it that way. All right. And it works to a degree, so there you go. Wide angle works on that. Let's see what else it'll do. Uh -huh.